In object-oriented programming, a class is a blueprint for creating objects. It defines a set of attributes and methods that the objects created from the class will have. Attributes are variables that store data, while methods are functions that operate on that data. Let's see an example where you have a class called car. The attributes of a car might include its make, model, and color, while the methods might include displaying of car's make, model, and color. In this example, the car class has three attributes, make, model, and color, and three methods, car make, car model, and car color. In the main function, an object my car of the car class is created and its attributes are assigned values. Then, its methods are accessed using dot notation. When the car make method is called, it prints a message to the console with the make of the car. Similarly, the car model and car color methods print messages indicating the model and color of the car. Access modifiers in a class are keywords used in object-oriented programming to control the visibility and accessibility of its members, including its attributes and methods. There are three types of access modifiers in most object-oriented programming languages. Number 1. Public. Public members of a class are accessible from any part of the program. This means that any object of the class or any function outside of the class can access public members. Number 2. Private. Private members of a class are only accessible within the class itself. 
This means that no object outside of the class, or any function outside of the class, can access private members. Number 3. Protected. Protected members of a class are accessible within the class itself and its subclasses. This means that objects of the class or its subclasses can access protected members, but functions outside of the class cannot access them. Let's see the use of it.
In this example, the car class has three members, two public attributes, make and model, one public method, start engine, one private attribute, mileage, one private method, reset mileage, one protected attribute, color, and one protected method, set color. In the main function, an object my car of the car class is created, and its public members are accessed using dot notation. Private and protected members cannot be accessed from outside the class. The scope resolution operator in object-oriented programming is used to access the members, such as attributes and methods, of a class or namespace. It specifies the scope of the member being referred to. In C++, the scope resolution operator is used to define and implement methods outside of the class declaration. Let's see an example of using the scope resolution operator in C++. In this example, the start engine method is defined outside of the class declaration using the scope resolution operator. The main function creates an object my car of the car class, assigns values to its attributes, and calls its start engine method using dot notation. In object-oriented programming, static members and functions are associated with the class itself rather than with individual objects of the class. Static members are attributes or methods that belong to a class and are shared by all objects of that class. They are declared using the static keyword. Since static members are not associated with individual objects, they can be accessed using the class name instead of an object of the class. Static functions are member functions of a class that can be called without creating an object of the class. They are also declared using the static keyword. Since static functions do not operate on any object, they do not have access to non-static members of the class. Static functions are typically used for utility functions that do not require access to the state of an object.
In this example, the car class has a static member number of cars, which is incremented in the constructor of the class. The main function creates three objects of the car class and then prints the value of the static member using the scope resolution operator. This concludes the class topic. If you have any queries write it down. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel.